Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome the president of Audi of America, Scott Keogh. Thank you. Thank you. Very much. Thank you. Thank you. Absolute, absolute pleasure to be here. Professor Windicorn, distinguished board members, and of course our media guests, thank you very much for joining us here. Now let's start with a look at the state of Audi in the United States, a market of clearly profound opportunity for our brand. And if there's really one word that captures our recent experience here, it's momentum. Now at the Los Angeles Auto Show, we made a powerful statement by declaring that Audi TDI clean diesel will be a crucial component of our energy future and of course America's as well. Now with just two TDI models in our portfolio since 2009, Audi customers saved 26 million dollars at the pump. Imagine, imagine how this efficiency story will build with the addition of the new Audi A8, A7, A6 and of course the Q5 TDI models launching this year. Momentum is really the only way to describe Audi in 2012. We set an all-time sales record in the United States with 139,310 units sold. December represented the best month ever, and in fact, that was our 24th consecutive month of record-breaking sales. This performance clearly gives us a lot of confidence, a lot of confidence that we will achieve more than 200,000 units in the U.S. sooner rather than later. Now, the success of our premier products, the A8, A7, A6, and of course, their S performance models has really transformed our business here in the States. These exclusive models represented 58% of our sales gain last year. Now clearly, that translates into higher transaction prices to give us and our dealers a solid financial foundation moving forward. In fact, Audi dealers have never been more profitable and more importantly, in my opinion, happy. As a result, they're currently investing $206 million in Audi facilities across the country. We are optimistic that Audi momentum will continue into 2013 with records continuing to fall. That's because Audi is now clearly the hot luxury brand in America. Conquest rates are at an all-time high, and Audi joins the highest base of Gen X and Gen Y customers among all luxury brands. We are the brand of the times, as this was clearly shown at CES last week with groundbreaking electronics and driver assistance systems on display. As you will soon hear, Audi plans to continue its investment in advanced technologies and exhilarating cars. This commitment will continue to inspire true, true driving fans to seek out Audi. And now, I would like to introduce the Chairman of the Board of Management of Audi AG, who was recently recognized in Germany as Entrepreneur of the Year 2012 for his great leadership and his bold vision to make Audi a truly global and a truly premium brand. Ladies and gentlemen, Mr. Rupert Stadler. Thank you, Scott, and once again, congratulations to you, to all your team, for the outstanding success we see in the United States here. Ladies and gentlemen, Audi's accomplishments over the past decade sound like magic. With this success story in mind, here is the good news in a nutshell. Audi is well positioned for a prosperous new year, and that's what we will showcase today. Let me start with a couple of facts and figures. So we saw record customer deliveries around the world. We just completed our 16th consecutive year of record results, with the exception of a slight dip due to the world economic downturn of 2009. Worldwide sales doubled during the past decade. And since 2011, we have grown our global customer base by one third. So do you know any other brand that was able to do so? We are number one in Europe, we are number one in China, and for the first time, we are number one in Germany. And we want to become the number one here in the United States. In this market, the brand has achieved 
a 50% sales increase since 2007. Given our track record of success, we are pretty confident to further grow in the United States. We initiated a record investment program to extend our global production network in Mexico, in Europe, as well as in China. In particular, our new manufacturing plant in Mexico will help us to optimally serve both the North American and the Latin American markets. And we plan to start production of our popular Q5 SUV in 2016. In the coming years, we invest 2.6 billion euros on average per year. This equals to currently approximately 3.4 billion dollars per year. That's an investment that is key to shape our future. So beyond this, we acquired Ducati, the iconic motorbike manufacturer from Italy, a truly legendary brand for bike enthusiasts. We grew our employee family to more than 68,000 highly skilled and motivated people. That's a quick glance at our strategy for success. What I'm really convinced about, a great strategy makes you strong, even in challenging times. And a great team is what you need to make your strategy come true. And beyond strategy and team play, what's the real magic of Audi? It's passion for performance. We share it with our customers. It is emotional design. We make it tangible for our customers. And of course, trend setting. We anticipate our customers' needs and dreams. Last week, at the Consumer Electronics Show in Las Vegas, we showcased the opportunities of piloted driving. We will see it on our streets sometime in the future. Only recently, we received a license for piloted driving in Nevada as the first car manufacturer worldwide. And that's, I think, a quantum leap. Taking a look into the magic crystal ball, I think we might be able to deliver 1.5 million automobiles worldwide earlier than 2015. We will see. When reached, this will be another milestone of our strategy for 2020. And now, you will see what I mean by saying we bring you the magic of Audi. Gentlemen, please start the engines.
Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome the member of the Board of Management Technical Development, Audi AG, Wolfgang Durheimer. Ladies and gentlemen, here it is, the all-new RS7. And thank you very much to our illusionist, Florian Zimmer, to put us up here on stage in a magic. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. But, ladies and gentlemen, I can assure you, the new RS7 is all real. It's no illusion. It's the latest state-of-the-art, high-performance car from our Quattro division. The RS7 Sportback has an extremely powerful 4-liter TFSI engine. It comes with 560 horsepower and 700 newton meters of torque. Its top speed is 190 miles per hour for our European guests, 305, 305 kilometers per hour. Zero to 60, only 3.7 seconds. It comes with an 8-speed Tiptronic gearbox and its weight has been reduced by 25 kilograms against the S7. And it comes standard.